Rome was a bright monument of civilization in a very dark world. Rome was considered the seat of virtue and dignity by its citizens. Its laws were considered so just that they could surpass the libraries of all the philosophers. The Romans had a far different definition of virtue and dignity than we do today. But several Roman laws were very strange, and a few of them were outright insane. Today we will examine seven of these strange laws from the Roman Empire stay tuned. This is Mind Guild. Number 1, Wearing Purple Was a Crime Purple, in ancient Rome, was viewed as the most majestic of all colors. Purple togas were reserved for the emperor, because purple dye was incredibly expensive. The law against wearing purple was a Roman law designed to keep lower classes from making extravagant displays of wealth. Romans wanted to be able to take one look at somebody and know their social standing. Number 2, Women Couldn't Cry at Funerals a Roman funeral began with a procession, where people would weep as they walked the body down the street. The more people you had weeping, the greater your status. Thus, people actually hired professionals to pretend to cry. Women who didn't even know the deceased would be paid to cry at funerals, literally ripping out their hair as they went. It got so bad that they had to outlaw crying at Roman funerals, just to keep people from hiring actors. Number 3, Prostitutes were required to dye their hair blonde. Roman ladies all had naturally black hair. Natural blondes, in Roman times, were usually barbarian and came from Gaul. Since the prostitutes couldn't be associated with the dignity of a proper Roman woman, they were required to make themselves look like barbarians, so they had to dye their hair. Number 4, People killed by lightning could not be buried. Lightning strikes, the Romans believed, were acts of God performed by Jupiter. If something got hit by lightning, it meant Jupiter really hated it. Whether it was a tree or a person, Jupiter had decided its time had come. If your family or friend got hit, you were legally forbidden to lift the body above the knees, and you definitely couldn't bury the body. If you did, you'd stolen a sacrifice from Jupiter and would be sacrificed to replace them. Number 5, Fathers could only sell their kids into slavery three times. Fathers in Rome had the legal right to temporarily sell their kids. An agreement would be made between the father and a buyer, and the son would become the buyer's possession. The buyer, as part of the bargain, was expected to bring the kid back home. The limit was three sales into slavery per child. Number 6, Women became the legal property of husbands. Romans had laws on how long you had to possess something before it became your property. This included people as well. Wives became their husband's legal property if they stayed in his house for one straight year. But if she really wanted her freedom, she would have to leave her house for three continuous days each year. Number 7, Fathers could legally murder their whole family. In the early days of Rome, there was no limit to what a father could do to his family. He could dole out any degree of abuse he could imagine. If his children misbehaved, he could straight up murder them. Fathers held on to those rights even after their kids grew up. Daughters still had to fear their fathers after marriage, and his sons only earned independence when their fathers died. We thank you for taking time out to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you would hit the like button below and leave a comment about your thoughts. And don't forget to share it with some of your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future discussions. Until next time, this is Mind Guild.